Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today we're going to be doing my long-awaited bookshelf tour. So for a really long time now, you guys have been asking me and asking me and asking me for a bookshelf tour, and I have just not been able to have the time to just go ahead and film it, so that's what today's going to be for. I think the last bookshelf tour that I did was honest to god a year ago, maybe even more than a year ago. I think it was last January, and it's, it's high ready, high, high ready, high in time, high. Is that the saying? It's just time for another bookshelf tour, as it's been a while. If you can tell already behind me, I have already reorganized my shelves. If you can't already tell, I was going for a slightly different style this time around. I wanted a lot more of clean bookshelves, meaning I just wanted to line them up one by one rather than stack them and double layer them and all that fun stuff. This time around, I do have three bookshelves rather than two. I still have that small one that you guys had seen previously in videos, but since I had to move my room around, it's currently in a spot where the lighting is not very good, hence why you haven't seen it in any recent videos. But it's still there and I'll do my best to try to get to it and make the lighting not so bad. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh no, oh no, my lights. No, don't take the light with you. This is not a good idea, but we gonna try it anyway. Now, get up a little bit and get zoomed in. Hello. Oh, actually we need to rise, raise this a little bit. Okay. This is really awkward to do from the front of the camera. Just saying. Stop. I think we're in a pretty good spot, would you say? Let me get some light up here. If my light can reach that far. Okay, hello everybody. So this is the first shelf of my bookshelf. And if you can't already tell, my favorite. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do it this time around. My first time I did a bookshelf to, can you see me? My first time, <laughs> I'm not standing like this. Oh my God, this is so awkward. I can't get over this. Oh my god. We're just we're just gonna go for it and we're just gonna see what happens So first I have the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass I'm not pulling out all of my series you guys. You know what books are in these series I'm not gonna have to tell you. Second is Renegades by Marissa Meyer Then it's The Raven Cycle by Maggie Steve Otter, which includes all four of the books that I'm not pulling out Then it's All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Steve Otter, which I started and then stopped after 10 pages because I just wasn't in the mood to read it so that's that. God, this is gonna take forever. Then it's The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Then it's obviously A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab, or V.E. Schwab. And then I'll, I have the next two books, A Gathering of Shadows, A Conjuring of Light. Then we have my three collector's editions. First is the Barnes & Noble collector's edition with the exclusive stories. Next is just the special collector's edition. And next is the UK version of the collector's edition. Cause I'm crazy and I have no self-control. This is a candle that I got from a subscription box from Whimsify. It's just called Red London and it smells like flowers and it's beautiful. Onward! So the first book that I have is This Savage Song by Victoria. <laughs> that didn't work. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I also have Our Dark Duet, which I'm not pulling out cause they're part of the same series. Then it's Vicious by Victoria Schwab. And also by v Victoria Schwab, The Archived and The Unbound. Then I have this cool 10th anniversary edition of The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Then I have The Actual Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan along with the other Percy Jackson and the Olympian books. This is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. This is book one in the Heroes of Olympus and then I have the rest of the Heroes of Olympus on this shelf. Basically this is just my Rick Riordan shelf. Then I have Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer along with The Hammer of Thor and the Ship of the Dead. And then The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle, and The Dark Prophecy both by Rick Riordan as well. Don't ask me what I'm gonna do when I get the third book because the shelf is already full because I have no answer to that. Okay, now we will go down to the next shelf. Voila! Shelf number three! So this shelf is gonna be pretty easy because half of this shelf is literally just Sarah J Mass. So, we've got Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass and the rest of the Throne of Glass series including the Assassin's Blade. Then I have this candle I think I got from Owlcrate. It's called Selena's Cake. It smells amazing! And it smells like vanilla and it's beautiful. Then I have Illuminae and Gemina, which are the first two books in the Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The third one comes out in March. Again, don't ask me where I'm gonna put it. I don't know. Then I have The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, which, oh God, this is not working. Which is actually, I'm thinking about reading really, really soon, so. It's exciting. Then I have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. No, I have never finished Six of Crows yet to this day. Whoops. Then I have Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. These are the Waterstones editions. I can't even remember what they're called, but I ordered 
them a really long time ago and they're beautiful. Then I have Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I don't know why it's on this shelf, it's mostly because I had Illuminae and Gemini on this shelf. These are the only like five sci-fi books I own, so <laughs> they're all gonna go together. Then I have Warcross by Marie Lu, and Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. Next shelf! Next shelf is another one of my favorite shelves. It just, I, don't, I just like the look of this shelf. It's just, I like it. I don't have another way to describe it, but let's begin. So first I have A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, which I've had for a really long time and have yet to read. Then I have The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, which I'm just now realizing is not the same Patrick who wrote A Monster Calls, which was the whole reason I put them next to each other, so... That's my bad, sorry. <laughs> then I have the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, which also I'm hoping to get to really, really soon. Shield it from this light glare. There we go. Then I have the first two books in the Darkest Mind series. <laughs> this looks so stupid. Then we have Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. Then there's Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia. Then we have Passenger and Wayfarer, both by Alexandra Bracken. And then Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. To be honest, Fangirl and Eliza and Her Monsters are the two contemporary books that I think I have on this shelf. Everything else is on my other shelf. Um, then because they're stacked on top of each other and I don't feel like getting them out are my UK editions of The Mortal Instruments. These are the Walker Books UK editions. And then I have Little Jace as a Funko Pop here. I got him from my friend Ray for my birthday. Day. It was a gift that she sent me over and he's so he's so cute except he reminds me more of Dominic Sherwood who plays Jace in the TV show rather than Jace in the book But still he's so cute Then I have the cruel prince by Holly Black Which again is another one that's high on my list at this point point. and then finally I have an ember in the ashes and a torch against the night by Saba Tahir and that is shelf number four So this shelf again is also gonna be pretty easy because it's, it's mostly Harry Potter, right? So first I have snow like ashes by Sarah Roche, mostly because I had nowhere else to put it. Then I have The Hobbit and the rest of The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. And then I'm gonna go through the candles first before I go through the actual books because they're sitting on top of the books. These are all candles that I got from Flick the Wick, which is a bookish subscription company. So half of these are Harry Potter themed, half of them are they're just bookish themed. There's Currently Listening, Reading Slump, Bookstore Browsing and Book Hoarder, which are the book-themed ones, and then Alohomora Spellbook, Triwizard Tournament, Moritor's Map, and Wizard's Wand, which are the Harry Potter-themed ones. And they all are amazing and so pretty, and they go really well on the shelf. I have the usual, regular US editions of Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows. Then I have Harry Potter and the rest of the series by J.K. Rowling. Then I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne, which I still have not read. Then it's J.K. K. Rowling and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay, which I actually read last year or the year before, I think. The illustrated editions of The Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and The Prisoner of Azkaban, which I'm really wanting to read this year so that I can reread the first three books. That's my plan. And we're gonna move over here. Because these shelves are not in front of the window, they're a little less light, but you'll know, we can deal. On this side, I have Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales, which I got from a Owl Crate box. Then I have Roseblood by A.G. Howard. Nixia by Scott Rainton. The Glass Spare by Lauren De Stefano. I have these backwards on my shelf by accident, but this is The Wrath of the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. Then I have Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. Then Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. The Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Olson. The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. Cinder, the only book in the Lunar Chronicles that I still have by Marissa Meyer. Um, then I have Replica by Lauren Oliver which I still haven't taken the stickers off yet, don't mind me. Then I have the Forget Tomorrow trilogy by L Pintip Dunn. Then there's A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Before She Ignites by Jodie Meadows. Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. And Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. Now the hard part is getting you down to the lower shelves. Okay, so this is fourth shelf from the end. Um, so let's begin. First we have Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs, along with the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series, Hollow City and Library of Souls, which I have not finished except for the first book. I also have the movie edition, because it was just so beautiful I couldn't pass up. Then I have the first two books in the Dorothy Must Die series by Danielle Page. Then there's Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. No Good Deed by Kara Connolly. Royal Bastards by Andrew Schwartz. Roar by Cora Carmack. Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz, 
Which, by the way, if you haven't heard, my mom hated this book. <laughs> she thought it would be closer to the Hamilton musical. It wasn't. Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. Ooh, the light just got bright AF. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, which I'm pretty sure was the first book that I ever received in an owl crate box, and I still haven't read it. Then we have the first book in the Ruby Red series, Ruby Red, and the third book in the series, Emerald Green, both by Kirsten Gear. Then there's Rosemarked by Livia Blackburn. Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Bashardos. The Last in Amsara by Kirsten Cicerelli. Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Robert Rogerson. And And I Darken by Kirsten G Kirsten White. Oh my god, there's too many Kirsten Kristen Kirstens. Okay, so now we're on to this shelf, and I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why is the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices and basically all of Cassandra Clare's books so low on my shelf? And the main answer is that I've had them so high on my shelf for so long that I want to feature new books. So it's not that I don't love them anymore. It's not that I have different thoughts about them now that I found a new favorite series. No, it's just because they've been up there for so long I wanted to give other books a chance. Also, they don't have very much color and I really wanted to make my books, like my shelves, have more color. They're down here, I'm sorry. Oh, this shelf is so tight. How am I gonna get any books back in here? Oh my god, I can't even pull this out. First up is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Then we have Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. Then we have A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, which I still wanna buddy read with somebody and I haven't yet. Then there's Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. And then all of the Cassandra Clare books. So for First is A History of Notable Shadowhunters and Denzians of Downworld Told in the Language of Flowers by Cassandra Clare and illustrated by Cassandra Jean. That is a mouthful. Then there's The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. Then Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Robin Wasserman. That was four, not five, sorry. Then we have the three books in the Infernal Devices trilogy, Clockwork Angel, Prince and Princess by Cassandra Clare. Then there's The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. And then The Mortal Instruments which again are stacked on top of each other and I don't want to get out. So at this point my tripod doesn't go down any lower um, and I don't feel like carrying my camera because then my voice is gonna be behind the camera and it'll be kind of muffled with the microphone so this is the best shot that I can give you right now. This is the very very bottom of my bookshelf and these are the shelves that I don't really care about much because you never see them hence why there are things stacked in front and behind and just ratty books and old books and things like that. So we're gonna start with these ones. Uh, this is the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. I want to get rid of it because I know I'm never gonna read it but for some reason I just kept it. I'm probably gonna get rid of it though. Then I have the first two books in the Blowback series by Brian Meal. Then I have, I think these are the last two books in Brandon Sanderson's Reckoners trilogy. I think the first one is Steelheart. The first one is Steelheart. And then I have The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman. And then behind those books that I just showed you are these books. This is where I keep all of my paperbacks of The Infernal Devices and The Mortal Instruments, as well as the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. You know, the Percy Jackson series, they're so beat up, but they were my first editions ever, so not gonna get rid of those guys. Um, but then I have... The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The only reason it's down here is because I know I'm, I know I'm not going to get to it anytime soon. Then there's The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Again, because I know I'm not going to get to it right away. And then I have a bunch of school books and a few other books. So the few other books are Overruled by Brittany Joy and Room by Emma Donahue. And then the school books that I have. So these are all of the school books that I have read and at least partially liked, which was the reason that I kept them. Actually, no, scratch that. I freaking hated Ted of the Durbervilles if you haven't heard me rant about it yet, so I don't even know why I've kept this. Then I have John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men, which I also didn't like, so I don't know why I still have. But then I have Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky, and I really liked this book, so that's why I kept that one. The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. This actually wasn't a school book. I got it at the Hemingway house in Key West, and I just wanted something to commemorate that. So, hence why I got it. Then I have Their Eyes Are Watching Guide by Zora Neale Hurston. Um, this book actually, if I'm going to admit something to you guys, I started reading it and then I spark noted. Um, look, you can even see where I stopped. I stopped on page 120 just because the dialect 
is so hard to read and I couldn't continue, otherwise I would never have finished. So I just spark noted the rest. It's, it's really sad. But then I have A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, which I actually read in sixth grade and I really loved, but I haven't read it since, so gotta get on that. And then I have a copy of Hamlet by obviously Shakespeare. Um, this was actually one that I found in a bookstore in St. Augustine and it's really really pretty and I just I loved Hamlet when I read it for school so that's why I have it. Oh also I have Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving which I got from an owl crate. I totally forgot I had those. And then on this side nothing's really changed since the last bookshelf tour that I did on this side. Basically all it is is just notebooks that I have. Um, for some reason I have the Tales of Beetle the Bard and Quidditch Through the Ages down here. I don't know why, ignore that. Also I have my Fantastic Beasts book down here, as well as The Lord of the Rings, the compilation that I have, and the big Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and other classic works. And, oh my god, I didn't realize how many books I had down here. The Lord of the Rings that I got in that same shop in St. Augustine. This is a really, really, really pretty version that I got. It's like bound in leather and everything. Yeah, other than that, it's just a bunch of journals that I've written in journals that are just unused yet. Coloring books, just random things that I just haven't used or are in the middle of using or have nowhere else to put them so they go on the bottom of my bookshelf. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this bookshelf tour. I still have my last bookshelf on the other side of my room to get to, so let's hop on over there. All right, guys, can I do this in the 11 minutes my camera has left to record? Let's find out. So this is my bookshelf that I have in the other section of my room. I used to have it on the other side of my room where I would film in front of it, but now I had to move it here and it has less great lighting, so I don't anymore but I still use it to hold my books because I still have a lot. So this top shelf I have dedicated mostly to my middle grade books, if you can tell. Uh, because there's no space to put these, I'm just gonna hold them up. The first book that I have is The Wizards of Once by Cressida Cowell. Then I have The Adventurer's Guild by Zach Lauren Clark and Nick Eliopoulos. Then I have The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexandra Bracken. York, book one in the Shadow Cipher series by Laura Ruby. The World's Greatest Detective by Caroline Carlson. The Explorer by Catherine Rundell. The Apprentice Witch by James Nichol. The Magic Misfit by Neil Patrick Harris. Then I have The Iron Trial and The Copper Gauntlet by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Then I have A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Leango, which I also haven't read yet despite the movie coming out. Then I have The Star Thief by Lindsay Becker. The Unicorn in the Barn by Jacqueline K. Ogburn. And Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. So then this shelf is just a few middle grade and then mostly contemporary. I have a pretty much all of my contemporary books on this shelf and the shelf below it. So to start us off, we have The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundell. And we also have have Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. To start off on the contemporaries, we have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, P.S. I Like You by Casey West, By Your Side by Casey West, When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Menon, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertelli, The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertelli, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, as well as Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, uh, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Okay, so this is the third shelf down and it has mostly contemporary as well as some graphic novels. So first we have Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Emma by Jane Austen, and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Then I have Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone, I believe. Yes, ignore the 20% off sticker. Then Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, mostly because I don't have the first book in the series. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Love Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Uh, the Shatter Me Trilogy by Tahara Mafi. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Then we have the Percy Jackson Coloring book, the artwork by Keith Robinson, as well as the Lightning Thief graphic novel. Then we have Anya's Ghost by Vera Brosgol. The first volume of Lumberjanes by Noelle Stevenson, a bunch of other people, and then Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. So with this shelf, I'm gonna do my best to talk into the microphone and also hold the camera. So I have my Infernal Devices and Mortal Instruments series here. Um, they just don't fit on my bookshelf. And then I have my movie edition of The City of Bones and my Barnes and Noble edition of the first book of the new artwork covers of The City of Bones. And then I have um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in two different forms, as well as a giant book of The Complete Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis that I actually got for Christmas from my mom. Last but not least, I have these books up here. Um, they, uh, they Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, another edition of Warcross by Marie Lu, 
and All the Crooked Saints, the ARC that I really need to give back to my friend. And Ray, if you're watching this, I am so terribly sorry I still have this. I hate myself. But that is everything for my bookshelf tour. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please let me know what you thought, I guess. I don't know. I tried to do it the best as I could, so I hope it turned out well. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for having so much patience in me, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye!